Hello everyone, I am with Pete Morris, aka Thesaurus. Now I have been a fan here for a long time. I in fact saw your epic rap, rap battle quite a few years ago with the Assassinato. Never managed to catch up myself. Really happy to finally get a meet. Now I was stalking your Twitter and you have a new Twitter. So first of all, what's the story? Yeah, I have no idea, but some battle stan, I guess, has gotten my account suspended and apparently not being restored is the latest update that I've gotten. They verified me like two weeks ago, but now you need to go out and follow Thesaurus Raps on Twitter instead of my old one. Done and done. We'll put a little thing below. Thanks. Follow this new one. But awesome. see, so yeah. Okay, so let's just talk a little bit then about this bat rap battle scene. Okay. That there is, are there some, I imagine that it's sort of like poker, you know, where like after the hands are over, you're all homies. Oh, but absolutely. If somebody's trying to get your Twitter account suspended, there might be some deep grudges in this rap battle world. I don't think it was a battler who would do it because we all understand the importance to our brand of something like Twitter, especially when... For the battle scene thrives so much off of YouTube, uh, like AdSense. That's kind of how we like generate an income. Right. So it's vitally important for us to have an online presence. I feel like there's enough of a mutual respect there to where no one would sabotage me like that. Right, that's I think, your like money world. Don't mess with don't mess with the dollar bills, y'all. Exactly. Yo. I'm pretty sure it was just like a disgruntled fan who maybe got upset at something I might have said to them on Twitter because sometimes I'm pretty quick-witted and combative on there, so. Seems like you're, <laughs> seems like you're in the right industry, then. I am indeed, for well, sure. You know, it's such a kind of obscure niche, just like poker is also. Is. Tell me a little bit about, you know, how you found yourself in this scene. I mean, it started over 15 years ago now. I grew up in the Bay Area in California. We had a local hip hop scene where every Friday night there was a thing called Freestyle Friday at a local coffee shop. We had turntables and all of my friends who I looked up to would get around and just freestyle over beats. I always watched it and admired it and sort of practiced my craft in my room. I was like a closet rapper for like a few years. <laughs> and then basically a few years into it, like I decided to come out and- uh, Mom, dad. And I think I waited a little too long because I was far ahead of the curve that I wanted to be at. But I mean, I'm okay with that. Better it's, late than never. Yeah, exactly. And now I'm just trying to make my home in both worlds. Yeah, so I was gonna ask you, you know, of course in anything, especially these two specific niches, I think it's very important to sort of stay on top of the trends, stay on on top of all the latest and greatest. So how do you balance, you know, both poker and this other sort of art form? Um, I mean, I don't know, it's pretty easy for me. I have found the balance over the last decade, like relatively easily. I've been playing almost full time for the better part of like the last 12 years. Started out with Limit Cash in the Bay Area. And I sort of disconnect from one as I like indulge into the other basically. But it's interesting because there are so many people in the poker community who follow the battle scene yeah. and vice versa, obviously. Like I have battle friends that are like, have you played with so-and-so and so-and-so? <laughs> yeah. And then at the same time, like the people, the poker players that I've looked up to forever have seen like my battles and whatnot, which absolutely blows me away. So there's I mean, always crossover. I feel there like is, in oh, any there obscure is. niche, there's always For sure, crossover. especially anything involving competition mm -hmm. and uh, sort of like strategy behind the attack. I think that's what sort of interests like the poker minds. Well, tell me a little bit about where people can find you if they want to f find a little more of this thesaurus action. Uh, I mean, you can go to YouTube and just type in thesaurus versus, and I have a good 180 battles on YouTube. I have more battle content than any battle rapper in the world on YouTube. Wow. Um, I'm also the most decorated battler of all time. I've won two world championships, two scribble jam championships, two freestyle Olympic championships. I was the first non-Canadian champion of a league called King of the Dot, which is based in Toronto. Um, yeah, the accolades go on and on. And now I'm just trying to, you know, make something happen here. And now we're trying to ship a bracelet. Exactly. Cross it over. We got, what, 40 players left in the six max, so. Well, I might need to get some tips from you. My brother does some, some raps, so oh, I might, for sure. I might yeah. need to get some tips so I can go home and show him what's up. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring him. Bring him some bars. <laughs> I'm going out of the closet to you guys. Just wait for it. Thank you so much. You guys are with us on PokerNews.com. Thank you.